Oh, hey y'all, how you doing? Welcome to my channel. If you've never been here before, I'm glad that you found me. There's usually not an adorable golden retriever on my lap, but I am dog sitting for handsome Frank. So he'll be accompanying me on this general pre-lunar eclipse energy check-in, okay? And do all 12 signs, split your little videos up for you. There is also a bonus extended reading. If this reading resonates with you, it is free and it is on my other channel, Southern Strega Studies, where you will also find a video where I unboxed this weird, wild, unknown tarot and gave you a little sneaky all signs reading today. Most of you didn't see it. There's only like 200 views on that bitch. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys want a personal reading from me um, in November, my books are opening back up this week. Um, info's in the description box below how to get that. And let's see, any other housekeeping? Oh yeah, be a friendly little YouTuber. Do all the little clicks and likes and whistles and bells and all those good things. If you're already subscribed, do, do me a favor, all right? And unsubscribe and then resubscribe. Same thing with the bell. Turn it off and then back on. YouTube updated and like no one's getting notifications. Algorithms are all kinds of messed up. Whatever, 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 whatever. Um, okay, anyways, happy Scorpio season. Um, glad you guys are here. There's been some crazy eclipse energy going on. We made it through the solar eclipse and now we are headed straight towards the lunar eclipse here on the 8th. It's like the late night hours slash early morning hours of the 7th and the 8th. Um, how it affects you depends on where it's going down in your birth chart. So you might want to take a look at that. All right. We're just doing a general energy check in today because this is a weird little dicey pocket of energy that we're in right now. So I figured we might as well check and see what's going on. See what we need to take care of before this lunar eclipse comes and takes care of it for us. Um, so I'm going to start today by giving you guys this general energy check in. I'm going to give you my breakdown of what I see here using these cards. And then I'm going to jump over to my other channel and use the dark wood tarot, which I only use in the month of October. So I'm breaking my little rules here, but I feel like I didn't do a good enough job doing shadow work readings on my channel for October. So I'm going to do that. All right. By looking into this energy here. So yeah, if you want your free extended, go check it out and make sure you subscribe to my other channel while you're over there. Personal readings, info in the description box below. I don't know if I said that. I'm so distracted by handsome Frank. My energy feels so good right now. He's like a good little therapy dog. Even though he's not a therapy dog, but <laughs> he feels like one. <laughs> also, I'm just now getting over a cold again because my kids are gross and bring home germs. Anyways, let's get into your readings, all right? Oh, hey, Cancer Babies. Is this not the most Cancerian reading you've ever seen in your entire life? I am a 28 degree Cancer. I thrive in my cozies, my pup. Handsome Frank. All right. Um, so we're doing a general energy check-in. I just did fire signs and holy shit. Yeah, this energy is wild. Like, I can't even explain to you. I've never pulled cards like that. Like, who was it? Was it Aries or Leo? They pulled literally like the entire suit of pentacles between the clarifiers and the... It was nuts. Like, in the initial spread, there's only like 11 cards. And they had like the 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 of pentacles. All oh, it's like, what the fuck? It's like, what the actual fuck? So you have a fire sign placement, you need to go check that out. Or if you're a Cancer Leo Cusper like myself, there's a chariot. You heard it. Holy shit. And the light just went on outside. I have a motion light outside in my driveway and it just chimed on for you, Cancer. And not only that, the train is blowing through. There's train tracks right behind my house. I hear it. It sounds like the damn chariot. Reminds me of a railroad bill. Catch me if you can, energy. If y'all know who railroad bill is, Google is your friend. Or go watch my Hooter readings because I give his lore many times. 
the law kept trying to catch him. He's the chariot card in the hoodoo tarot. He was a wanted man. He evaded the law so many times they could never get him. Elusive, like the chariot. Dipped out, went on to safety. It's your energy, Cancer. It's you and your little shell. What's going on with my Cancer babies? What are we avoiding? Train roll on. Oh, down the line. I can't fucking make that shit up. Chariot, you don't read reversals in this deck, all right? If you go watch the unboxing. Wild horses could not drag you away, Cancer. I can't believe I just did that. I swear to God, I'm a witch. The gods. The chariot, point blank in the middle of your reading. These card cards also give out like colors that make you, you know, reminisce chakra energy and things like that. There's none here. It's like completely black and white. You've broken free of something. There's like four small corners here that represent like root chakra energy with the red. You've broken out of whatever this is. Your wild horses. You're dragging yourself away from something. Crossing you is the page of cups. The daughter of cups in this deck. More water energy. In the recent past, the seven of wands. They say about the Cancer Leo cusp, water fire, water fire. That's all we got so far. You're in a very aggressive energy for a um, Cancer. Now you got the six of cups on your mind. You see the roots there, though? In the past, bear. Wow, who got this? Aries, maybe? One of the fire signs got this for their exact same position there. It was whoever pulled all the crazy pentacles in progression. They had that same card in their near future, the eight of pentacles. Jeez, the Queen of Pentacles. Sag had that in their outside energy. This is in your subconscious, Cancer. What is that about? Your control. This is very similar to Sag. They had the Five of Wands in their control. You got the Five of Swords. Outside energy for you is the Hierophant. I get Hecate energy every time I see this. The Keeper of the Keys, the Crows, all those things. Also, this is a tower moment for somebody. Do you see this lightning bolt hitting this crow? Somebody wasn't doing things the way that they, you know, knew to be correct. Like they were not following the rules. They were not, you know, doing what they knew to be right. All right. They weren't doing the righteous thing like the Hierophant would do. So they were struck with a tower moment. If you have the keys, all right, and you don't use them, there will be, you know, consequences. <laughs> for making stupid decisions when you were equipped with what you needed to do the right thing. I also read energy, all right? The, this Hierophant is screaming, all right? Oh God, I wish you could see these. There's no good way for me to fit them in. There's just not, there's just not because I'm a Cancer and I'm not gonna get off my couch. All right, look, the Hierophant is screaming at the chariot. even looks like it's blowing your hair back. And the way that they're reading, all right, and my the way I look at them and interpret them as a reader, this person is trying to prevent this movement here. They're trying to keep somebody in their box. In your hopes and your fears, the damn devil. That's the first time I've seen the devil today. The Emperor is the final outcome. It's got heavy Aries energy here. Death at the bottom, holy shit, Cancer. 
All right, you've got yourself in the center of everything. You've got your fellow water sign Scorpio at the, you know, bottom of everything. You have the emperor. You've got Aries and Taurus energy to me. You've got the devil. Capricorn is here. You've got Hierophant, more Taurus energy, heavy Taurus. You got the six of cups on your mind. That's a soulmate energy you're dealing with. There's a something in the I just get this energy here. All right. There's a lot that you want to say to somebody. There's a conversation that you want to have and it's an emotional one and you're unable to have it. I feel like you fought for whatever this conversation was. I feel like you attempted here, you know, despite your best efforts to either understand why something, you know, died with the death card here or to, you know, expose something or to rebirth something out of this. The seven of wands is like staking your claim. It's like defending what is yours is getting ready to, you know, prepare to be attacked. It's not backing down. It's an aggressive energy. It's also a defensive energy. It's both. You don't want, know whether or not you're like on the attacking or the receiving end. Sometimes with the seven of wands here, there is going to be, you're, there is going to be a free extended. All right. Why well, do clarify all these for you? There's like a fierce protective energy with you over whatever the situation is. It's like you refuse to quit on whatever this thing is. Subconsciously, this is how you feel about it. You like a mother, you know, a mom protecting her baby. That's what you don't want to think about. This energy. You're committed to it, even though you don't want to admit to it, even though you, that, it's like, this is subconscious. These are things that we don't walk around fixating on. You walk around fixating on the six of cups. You feel like you've known whoever this is for a long time, or you feel like you've been in a situation or a past life. It, it reads like old roots, like long history. Emotions run deep, all right? There's also a lot going on under the surface with you that you're not showing. You're doing a really good job protecting yourself and not allowing your emotions to, how do I say this, create conflict. Because <laughs> look what we have here. We have death. All right. Something happened here. You were fe you're feeling very defensive in the past with the seven of wands. Now what's on your mind is the six of cups, like remembering the past. Remembering the roots, remembering where you came from, remembering to be grounded, remembering, you know, things run deep. And then you end with this emperor energy. You're not even fixating on the emotions anymore. And look, that is a fucking eclipse. That's like a solar eclipse. You kidding me? That's crazy. You're completing a cycle with these eclipses. Because you're getting some kind of reward coming up with that eight of pentacles. You're weaving a web, but you're about to catch something. Why do I feel like you're the one laying this trap? You're the spider here. You show up in a very aggressive and protective energy. The energy best in your control is the five of swords. Is to not try to manipulate this too much. I feel like you've already laid a trap, which is manipulation to some extent. And look, I am a Cancer, so I'm going to talk shit about us all day. It's like we're the, probably the most manipulative sign in the entire Zodiac, if you want to be honest. Because we have the you know innate ability to manipulate people's emotions in a way that a mother would and guilt you into things. And that's you know the most manipulative energy. No one can make you feel worse about yourself than your own mother. And we have that power and we wield it. And when we do, people usually buckle because we will, in the most nice way with a smile, just completely hand you your ass emotionally and get right to that little spot that really just digs in. You have to stop playing with this, all right? You have to stop trying to protect this all right i feel like why do i feel like you keep there's all this energy of first of all in the center of everything stand up cancer chariot energy protection battle whatever yeah blah blah shell okay 
And then at the, you know, the subconscious, there's the queen of pentacles, which is the most stable energy, the most predictable energy, the most reliable energy of all the queens protecting this little baby. I see you defending something in the past with the seven of wands, like throwing your torch up to all these pitchforks. I see you still in your mind, even though you're not showing it on the surface, you're still very invested and rooted in whatever this is. Coming up in the near future, you're making this spider web, like looks like a trampoline to catch them in if they fall again. What's crossing you is the page of cups. Like you're not getting any kind of, you know, I feel like an apology. I feel like you've done a lot for whoever this is. Put up with a lot, tolerated a lot. The good news is about this, all right, what I do see, I see a couple stories here. The, the main one I see is that whoever this is triggers you to the point where you feel like you have to rush and be their savior. They fuck up a lot, all right? And you're always there to fix it, always. You won't let them die, you won't let them fail. You are their backbone to some extent. Safety net, a lot of you. And that's nice and that's kind, but um, when are they gonna learn to do the right thing? The answer is right now. <laughs> they got that Hierophant, all right, with the tower moment. They're heading for a tower moment right now. There's something they're getting themselves into that you can't protect them from. The energy that they want you to be most aware of that is going to be what you're wanting to work with here for whatever reason is the Five of Swords, which is a horrible energy. That's the energy about like talking yourself into something. That's a terrible idea, all right? It's like the energy of willing to die on a hill, even though you know it's wrong and stupid. It's like not being able to put your pride aside or not being able to sort your head out long enough to see the forest for the trees. All you wanna do right now is chop the tree down that's blocking your view. It's like you don't ever think about the repercussions of your actions with the Five of Swords. That's the energy they want you to be aware of that you're working in. You're working in Five of Swords energy. You're fighting a battle you can't win. You have to let this person learn how to fish on their own. You've just been feeding them fish and now they have no idea how to take care of themselves. You've given them the keys. I said in the beginning, look, I said in the very beginning, if you have the keys and you don't use them, there's repercussions. That's not something, you know, this person's escaped death many times, or maybe this is you, Cancer, you know? Somebody's escaped death many times here and, you know, been reborn many times like a cockroach. And they keep getting caught every time before they fall. <laughs> your hopes and your fears are the devil. I almost feel like there's this subconscious energy where you're tired of protecting this person and you wish that they would get their shit together. And as much, you know, as you do love, you know, being empathetic and taking care of people, there's something about this. Like, I just remembered something that I said about someone. I remember seeing one of my friends like on a path to just like absolute destruction. <coughs> I didn't, you know, I understand with people who are addicts or people who have, you know, denial, this friend of mine was like, literally had an appetite for destruction. They were using drugs. They were like headed on the path where they were gonna end up overdosing. They like just didn't have their shit together at all. They were doing reckless stuff, all right? Just no regard for their own care or safety. And I remember asking like, not for them to stop doing what they were doing or to, you know, help me figure out how to help them, anything like that. No, I asked them to just scare them enough scared them enough. There's like a song by Atmosphere it talks about a junkie won't bounce till he hits the ground. That's the truth. All right. If you are, you know, overly obsessive or fixated on something, it's not until it's too late that you realize that you need to change because you can't tell people shit when they're in that energy. You also can't talk anyone into it or force anyone to do it. They have to want to do it on their own accord and falling flat on their face like nine out of 10 times is the way that they finally realize, oh shit, I do need to do something about this. 
that's what that hope and fear is, all right? You're wondering that devil energy, you're welcoming it. You want this person to learn their lesson to some extent and to some, you know, at the same time you fear that it's gonna go overboard and it's gonna be too harsh of a lesson they can't come back from. There's also this energy about hope and a fear. You know something's bad for you and interacting with it is bad for you, but at the same time you crave it. You're gaining a lot of control though. You got emperor energy You and is the emperor. You're already standing in your own power in the center and now you got the emperor coming up like you're gaining control of your emotions i feel like you're getting a little less triggered with this you're feeling a little less obligated to have to run to the you know aid of whoever this is you also are going to stop defending this person i feel like you've made a lot of excuses for them you have a soft spot for them like a big one like this is your subconscious you view them as like your responsibility you also know that they wouldn't hurt a fly like they're not really you know a terrible person but at the same time, they're doing terrible things. They're going through a big, hard spiritual lesson with this Hierophant. This Hierophant is much different than any other Hierophants here. Look at that. It looks like there's a lightning bolt going through them. And look, they're yelling at you for help. They're trying to get your attention, but you're like choosing to put on blinders. That horse has blinders. That horse is not even turning to look at that crow who is clearly making a shit ton of noise standing on a metal key getting struck by lightning. There's a lot of noise going on over there and you are looking straight ahead focused. I got to clarify these because I, I feel like you either get more or less ensnared into this. You're either going to choose to drive yourself insane about how to cushion this fall, right, is what I get here. I also want to know what you're gaining control over with this emperor energy. I feel like it's your feelings. I feel like you're starting to take the rose-colored glasses off a little bit about whatever this is. You're reaching a whole lot of enlightenment. Like, what's blocking you, these cards... First of all, these cards, they have, you know, the colors, like I said, for the chakra energies on them. And you have very little color in this reading because what's blocking you is, and what's on your mind and what's in the past are all linked. You're eclipsing that out, all right? It literally ends with this, you know, solar eclipse. It looks like, you know, I don't know if it's a solar or a lunar eclipse. I can't tell, but it's an eclipse and we're about to have one. We just had one and we're about to have another one. <clears throat> You're breaking out of something. I said it in the beginning with that chariot energy, with the root chakra being blown apart. You need to get to this level, all right? Do you see this? This is all colors of the chakra. Every part, you know, lit up. Your reflection of yourself. You're trying to, you know, get in touch with yourself here. Here's the problem. That's crossing you that energy, not being able to do that. You don't have enough time to focus on yourself and look at yourself because you're too busy, you know, subconsciously doing this. I feel like you're getting in the right headspace, though, but that's like the only color that shows up in this reading. That besides the, you know, sacral chakra in the recent past and defending that to the death. That's crazy. All right, Cancer, let me go clarify these for you. This is a weird flex. Can't wait to get into this, being a Cancer myself. This is good energy, but it's also a little somewhat concerning. I also hope that this Hierophant is not like coming in to teach us a lesson. <laughs> And like I said in the, I believe it was the Sag reading who got the same card as you at that Eight of Pentacles. Are you the spider or are you the prey? Are you weaving the web or are you about to get tangled in it? What is expanding here? I feel like you're breaking out of this web. Look at this energy. I just noticed that. I read art. Hi. Look, the center of the chariot card. If you laid it on top of that Eight of Pentacles, 
It literally looks like you're running away and breaking out of the spider web. It's like you were caught up in whatever this was. Choosing to, you know in your heart you need to distance from it. But you're torn up about that with that energy in your control, that five of swords. You're trying to convince yourself of something and I want to know what that is. I also want to clarify that damn devil. <laughs> wow. And of course you pulled death at the bottom. Um, all right. That is what I got for you, my cancer babies. Please go check out the extended. It is free. It is on my other channel. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me to get more personal about your situation, then that info is in the description box below. Bye from me and handsome Frank. Say bye, Frank. He's a good boy. See you later, cancers.